hello everyone welcome back to my channel twisted paper studio how are you it's merry monday and i'm feeling quite better thank you so much for all your well wishes i did rest <laughs> it's merry monday uh day 37 of the 100 day craft project i'm not all the way back to myself but i'm definitely feeling much better than i was yesterday so thank you so much i did rest i did i did i did i did Okay, so let's get started. We're going to work in this book here. And I figured um, we would just go ahead and decorate some more of the pages. And, you know, just go page by page. Sometimes that's easiest for me to do. Um, especially when I'm having just like a slow day or, you know, I'm just casually wanting to craft. I don't always, um, you know have the energy as you guys know so you probably don't either to go like you know all out crafting all day long and just keep coming up with these great ideas and new things because I can tell you that's um a myth yeah <laughs> okay so I'm going to um I found these two things tucked somewhere and they just need a little more help oh they were in here there's one more in here too and I'm actually, now they don't look Christmassy, of course. Um, they don't really have, I mean, that has a little bit of snowflake um, paper on it. And that has that little rooster that we were trying to save. So maybe I'll just um, put a label on it. Oh, I didn't give out my beautiful blessings. Oh, sugar. I have to do that. And I, I'm not even sure my phone is close by. Is it? It is. All right, so let me cut out this tag and then I will do that. I'm glad um, the uh, prayer cards were well received for Palm Sunday. Thank you. And these are the typography labels in my shop for Christmas time. Um, they're darling. I love them. So I'm just going to put one right on here. It says, wish or two a Christmas for you. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't say anything. You just know it's Christmassy. Well, it did say something, but it's like cut off. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to stick this right here. And maybe it needs something else. Possibly. I have this little junk piece of um, paper, um, what do you call it? No, it's not doing anything. Florentine paper. Um, well, maybe how about one of these? No. Sometimes, sometimes you might not find anything. Sometimes you might. Oh, I kind of like that up at the top for no reason. Yes, it balances out the reds in it. So I'm just going to put that there. And then, let's see. I have um, washi tape here. So let's just use some of it. I have lots in holiday. Um, oopsie. It says ho, ho, ho. <laughs> let's do it. We'll even bring it around the back. So don't forget your washi tape when you're working with things. It could come in handy to fill up spots. Cute. And then we'll put that right there. And then I'll give out my beautiful blessings. I don't know that I'm going to stay long. Um today we'll see i always say that and then i go about staying long so that's cute <clears throat> what else can we do oh i want to give out my beautiful blessings so let me give those out uh, whoops Okay, beautiful blessings to Terry Mercer, Lynn Whitman, Lori Creates, and Haystack Creations with Tabitha. 
Thank you so much for commenting on my channel so I know you are there. Okay, now we can keep moving. Keep moving. Um, I, I love these. Remember, they're from Dreams, etc. Oh, they're my favorite. Well, these are from me. <laughs> I love, I just, I love these. Oh, what if we put that puppy? And that's, I think they spell their name D-R-E-A-M-Z. Dreams, etc. They are on um, uh, Etsy. There are lots of fun. They bring the retro back into Christmas. And I really enjoy their digitals. And these are from a few years ago, so I, I'm not quite certain if they have new digitals or not. I haven't been over to their shop, so I don't really quite know. I should go check them out, though, since I enjoy these so much. I kind of um, printed them out incorrectly. I made them a little too big for the page, so they're kind of overhanging. I think they possibly are not in the USA, so it's not like an eight by 10, because it kind of went over. Oh, that looks adorable there. And did I bring over a glue book? I don't have much left there. Oopsie. Bad glue stick. Okay. I'm gonna stick, I know I'm covering everything up that we initially did, but that's okay. That's what collage is, you guys. It covers things up that you put down. It's just layers of fun, pretty things. <laughs> And sometimes the layers get covered. And I'll just clip these off here. They're extra hanging over. Cute. And we could even take some of this and put it on here. Why not? I don't mind that on there. I think that red stripe looks good. I thought I had my, um, thing over here, hold on. Well, I don't have my tiny attacher, but I have a big one, so we'll just use it. I, I know where my tiny attacher is, I think, but I just, I'm not fussing with it right now. So there's a regular staple. If you don't have a tiny attacher, you could use a regular stapler. Okay, that one's done. And let's take a look here. We'll just put a little Christmas message right on this plain tag. It doesn't have to be an image. It could be a label. Maybe we might do an image. <laughs> Let's see. I'm wondering, can we get these guys on here? No. They're all a little too big. How about her?
shoot. Cute, cute, cute. And we can even put this on there, the smaller label. Or maybe up here. I think I like it better up there. And I covered up the images that were on there, and I'm okay with that. You know what? If I fussy cut this, the, the, her, I bet you I could keep the images. So let's go ahead and try that because I like those images there and I did go through, you know, I did want to see them. So I'm just gonna loose fussy cut around her, leaving some of the pink border around her background. To see if we can try to save um, some of what you see on the on the collage rather than covering the whole thing up and don't forget you can do that Now we can see that. I like that better. So sometimes just a loose fussy cut um, makes something pop more on your tags. It doesn't have to be really, really tight and precise. It could be loose. I got glue all over my finger. What happened? Oh dear. Oh dear. As I put down the deer. Oh dear. I need to get the glue off my hand. Give me one second. I put on the hand sanitizer. Cute. And now you can clip the corners or you don't have to. Cute. Okay. So let's see. Now let's keep looking. We have this here. Let me get rid of this. Hold on. I made a mess. Go figure. I don't really think I'm going to get anything out of there. We can keep these in here. That's fine. Maybe, should we make a little pocket for them or a tuck? Huh. We could do that out of these postcards. I'll just do that really quickly. Make like a little tuck for those. So they don't fall out. And um, do I have any glue book page? I have this one. I'll just put it on there. Quickly, quickly, quickly. <laughs> when I try
try to put it over here because it's all, it's really bad glue over there. Really bad lumpy glue. And this will just help it so that the little tags don't fall out of the book. Just a quick um, digital postcard. Sorry for the moving of the camera. I could see it jiggling. Not what I wanted it to do. I'm saving up for my camera holder. <laughs> I'm saving up. Okay. Um, we can do it this way so the happy holidays can be seen. Christmas can be seen right there. So we'll do that. And I'm just going to glue it around um, two edges. This one. And this one. And we'll put it right here. And then we'll stick those in here. And there we go. Perfect. All right, maybe I'll leave this for writing. However, there's a rip in there. That seems to be um, a thing that keeps happening to me. But maybe we'll put one of these things on the rip instead of collage. Why not? I think I want to use the trimmer only because it's going to go right there. You can even cover up the rip with collage and then make this a tuck or something so it even hides it more. But I kind of wanted it to be journaling spots, so. So we will put him right there and it's still a place to journal. I'm going to check and see if I have another glue stick because this is very clumpy. I went through all my glue that I just bought before the 100 day craft project. I have to go check. I I really think I did because I can't find any. I'm going to have to order. I seriously thought that I had a few left. Okay. We'll put that there so that it can cover up the rip. Um, where I put my card? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> We're batting a thousand. Okay. And then that can kind of stay. It doesn't need a big one. Maybe we'll just put that right there. Just because, no special reason. Sometimes it's nice to stick little notes in places. Like that's a, a little saying, I mean a little saying. I know it's like a little note. 
I'm looking. I hope I didn't put my glue card in here somewhere in the book. I've done that before. Okay. I don't know where it went. That's that. We need something right there because of the fact that it's only half a person. Or half a, yeah, half a something. And there's a bunny there and there's only half a thing there. So we have to like collage that up just a little bit. So let me see what I have. Sorry for reaching. It's a little big. Did we use the cat yet? I don't think so. Just a little big. Hmm. We could use the cat there. Keeping the bunny. I'm just gonna make it like a little tear. I like that there. He comes creeping up behind the trees. Oh, the cat. Yeah. <laughs> the cat does. <clears throat> the cat comes creeping up behind the trees. Oopsie. Kind of made a new story. And then here, the good rabbit creeps away and hides in a hole. It feels sad. Aww. Aww. Let's see about putting this one on this side. Just Merry Christmas. I don't want to take that out, so maybe I'll just make it straighter and see if we can keep it. Like that. Yep. We'll put that in there. And I do want to make it just a bit straighter. You can see it if it's not straight. There we go. And it says a happy Christmas, so we'll make it a happy Christmas. <laughs> okay. I don't know how much, we don't have much more to do in this book. Just wanna finish, I wanna leave a lot of journaling because Christmas time it's definitely a time to reflect towards the end of the year. Lots going on. Families, memories. So I definitely want this to have lots of journaling. Um, but on the spots and the pages that you do, that you just want a little something, you could put, you know, you could put little stamps down. So that at least the page has, whoops, I'm sticking. So at least the page has something. Uh, let's see. 
It doesn't have to be super plain. And sometimes um, having something on the paper could spark a reason to write. Sometimes. <laughs> Not all the time, but sometimes. So we'll put, how about we put the Santa up there? You don't have to put everything in the bottom right corner, Donna. <laughs> okay, and then maybe we'll put the Santa here. We'll put some more because there's lots of blank pages here, but I don't want to take away from the writing. Maybe we'll put that up there. Okay, and then on here, I did want to put one of those images. So I love, this is one of my favorite images from the Dreams Etc. kit. I have two. They're both on here. The teddy bear and the dogs in the car. I think I'm going to put the dogs in the car right in the middle there. And just do a loose fussy cut all around this border that's already here. It's all dogs and oh yeah I thought that was a cat but it, no it's all dogs it's very cute but I think how cute for that right there adorable and you could dress up a page just by putting on um, a fussy cut on it um, or collage Fussy cuts are always fun because there's something for people to see on a page that maybe they don't have. You know, lots of people think about it. All the people that don't junk journal, which there are many more of them that don't than that do, they don't get to see all this stuff all the time. So it's fun to see it. I like all that, but it like needs something else. I wonder, maybe just a label. Merry Christmas. Maybe like a number. Um, oh yeah, how about that? That number. Still not really doing anything. Hmm. 
Oh, maybe that. Let's see. It needs a pop or something. Something. Nothing. Did nothing. Maybe a different color of something. We'll go back to that another time. Um, the Animal Orchestra. How about the teddy bears on? Oh, how about the Christmas stocking there? I'm liking the Streams Etc. kit with this book because it's very retro definitely liking it very much so everything is retro If you're new to my channel and you're watching this, well, you probably left already because <laughs> some people don't watch the Merry Mondays, but um, Merry Monday is a hashtag, and I do have a design team in place, so if you search Merry Monday DT, you'll be able to find um, other artists who, who are on the design team who do participate in Merry Monday, and then there are artists who are not on the design team that participate in Merry Monday. So if you just search Merry Monday, D Merry Monday hashtag, you'll find lots of things to do for Merry Monday. And the concept of it is to get work done for Christmas items so that at Christmas time, you have less to do. Now, if you're in the crafting world and you make things for the holiday or you do craft fairs or shows, it's so much easier to have a bunch of things done at one time rather than to go rushing and start them all in November. Um, it's definitely easier. Okay, I like that there. A lot. Oh, now, this guy here. We need to, well, because he's so cute on the front part, right? He's adorable. Where's the signature on the front? Here. I didn't cover him up, but here, he's just the bottom. <laughs> so we need to do something with him. And I probably will just collage on the page. Um, let me take a look at what I have here. It could be we can put that down. We could even do a pocket. Let me see. I'm looking. Let me see what I have here. That could work. And this could also work. I think I like this. So, let me see. I gotta cut it down with the ruler. And that right there. And then doesn't have to cover everything so I think I might just take it off there and we can do something else well we'll see we might put this piece back on but let me just see how it comes out so we have it here covering that part we could possibly even make a pocket there too 
Yeah, we can do that. All right. Let's see about that. So we're gonna cover up the bottom part of the yellow elephant. <gasps> Make sure it goes on straight. Okay. And then for down here, Just do that in there and make it a tuck. That's what we'll do. Make it a little tuck and then it could be written on too. And again, this is from that Dreams etc. kit. This is from the new Merry Monday kit. That's in my shop. Um, Oh, I should be doing this after. Let me, I'm going to cur curve those after I put it down to, on a thicker sub surface. No reason for me to cut it three times. <laughs> okay. Stick that there. Not a little bit of the book page showing up. I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. All right, so now we'll turn there. There. Let me get rid of that. There. And there. Excuse me. Oh, let me do. Let me take off the book page because <laughs> it looks silly. Everything else doesn't have it. Now I took off all the black, but that's okay. But now I'm just going to put that in there as a tuck spot. place to put things and we can even put this right over here in the corner why not I just put the glue on just a little bit it doesn't have to be all the way so that it can peel apart a little bit from the fabric and make it look shabby. And then I'll put this on. And you could sew it if you want to. I didn't, but 
You can. Cute. All right. I think that's kind of it for today. I'm liking all this stuff for the person to view in the book. I may just... Maybe we'll just put this on here since we have a motif going on with the Santa. Now it get, gets lost there, but we could pick it up with Let me see. Oh, yeah, and I had this from yesterday. Look, this can go in there. Remember the prayer cards we did yesterday? Look how pretty. <coughs> Excuse me. Why don't we pick it up with this? And this paper is very, very old, so I'm sorry. I've had it for a long time. I think that will look good on there. Um, yes, it's it's very old. I, I want to say that I got it in AC more. <laughs> they, they don't have AC more anymore. Now I'm just going to take a little bit off here and here, leave that border all around it because it makes it look pretty. And now we'll put it up here. We'll make it like a corner tuck. I don't know what we'll put in there, but that's what we'll do. pretty okay now i'll let you guys go until next week on monday but i'll see you tomorrow for twisted tool tuesday and again thank you so much for your well wishes it's very very appreciated i'm sorry for not always feeling my best but i am only human um and we all you know we all get sick and I'm getting sick a lot, and I can tell you, well, I do have sinuses, but I also have been exposed to my grandchildren and the school. So, you know, my my grandchildren um, go to school. Well, Lucas goes to school, so he brings home things that um, I'm not even, I'm, I, I never thought I would be around. Um, I'm just going to put this here. Don't forget, you can use your washi tape. Put things down. And it was gold, so it kind of looks pretty. I mean, you can do things in the book with, with your washi tape. You just put stuff down. It doesn't. You don't have to have a reason. Sometimes it just looks cool. Kind of like a collage. Well, let's see how this will look, and then I'll say goodbye. Then I'll, I was saying goodbye, wasn't I? Huh? <laughs> Silly me. I'm probably going to record t uh, tool, tool Tuesday tonight, so it'll be pre-recorded. So tomorrow I can rest a full another day. And they also have some clerical things to do. Um, for my twisted paper studio. Okay. Hold on. We'll put a piece of this. Hey, what happened there? Don't do that. See, we could put a little piece right here. Just because. Isn't that cute? And of course, we're going to have to cover that up. And since I have it open, 
Oh yeah, we oh we do have some more to do. Not much though. One more signature, but there's not many pages in the signature. Let me put that there. It closed on me. There we go. Okay, so if you have washi tape, you can just go ahead and put it down in some of your pages. It might look cool. Okay, not much more to go. Really not. A half a, no, a whole signature. A whole signature? This feels thick now. <laughs> it's gonna feel even thicker. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to thin down. Maybe move stuff around so it's not such a wide alligator mouth. All right. I'll see you guys um, tomorrow for day 38. Woohoo! We're moving through it. Day 38 for Twisted Tool Tuesday. I'll take that later. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now, my crafting buddies.